Okay, today we are doing a demonstration of the Forest Model 149 manual jacketing roller used to roll down aluminum or stainless steel jacketing for use to protect insulation. Today we're working with an 016 aluminum material with a craft paper backing. Um, you can roll stiffer materials in this, just takes a little more effort. We can get down to about three and a half inch diameter. Um, there's some preference with the different fabricators and installers as to how tightly you want to roll it. If you roll it completely closed with a good overlap, then opening it up to get over the insulation is kind of a bear. Um, you leave it rolled too open and getting to close down and band down is also a pain. So a little bit of a gap is about how we, uh, we usually do it. This is a flat measurement of 11 and a half inches designed to roll down to a three and a half inch diameter with a half inch overlap. Of course, there are specifications on each job determining how that should be done. But what we're gonna do is illustrate how to set this machine up first. You have two adjustment knobs. This machine has three different rollers. This top one here can be adjusted in and out to vary the roll diameter. The machine has some special features, works well with insulation. First off, it has these feed ramps to help guide the material in between the rollers. It has what we call a kickout plate. So when you roll the material around, since you're rolling close to 360 degrees or even more, you don't want the material to come all the way around and refeed into the rollers and loop around itself. This kickout plate keeps the material from re-rolling around like this. To adjust this machine, we've got these two knobs. Each has a locking screw. Back to, lock, to adjust, lock the backing screws all the way out. Turn these knobs counterclockwise firmly until they seat. That gives you a zero position. Then the way I do this is I back out number of facets. This is a, a hexagonal bar, so I count facets. Six facets equals one complete revolution. So for today, since I'm rolling this pretty much as tight as possible, I'm gonna back out one facet. But I don't go straight to one. I overshoot and then come back. I'll do one, two, three facets, and then back out two. This is just to load up the adjusting screws so I get a good, uh, good measurement. And again here, I'll back it out. One, two, three three facets and then take two back out. Use these locking screws against the flat face so your setting doesn't move once you're happy with it. Now since this is a manual machine, one person gets to crank, one person gets to feed. We also sell a powered machine, we call them the model 492 and 372. Basically, replace the operator with a motor. So place the material, vapor barrier to the inside, against the rolls, the operator gives it a crank. And there's your material. This one, we're targeting three and a half, a little bit of a spiral to it here. Across the Broadway, we're getting four and across the short way, about three and three quarter. A little bit of a spiral. If I was taking my time, I would adjust one of these facets, or maybe a quarter facet, just a little bit of a twist to uh, get that a little bit straighter. On this side, we're more like three and seven eighths, three and three eighths. But that is the Model 149, and this is what it does. Please buy one.